Western Custom Ace R&D. Well, today we have a Ford 3-liter flywheel on our mowing machine table here. And um, we're going to have to reface this thing eventually when we get done with it. But we've been asked to reduce the weight of this. And we measured this at, on the scale and it weighed like 21 pounds, so it's actually quite heavy. And we're going to see what we can do as far as taking some weight off and see what we wind up with. We're going to show you how that's done. Well, I've written a simple program to uh, remove this first section here. I'm going to do that in two passes and two steps for each pass. Oops. Well, I guess this is what happens when you uh, try to feed down too fast. We'll have to slow up the feed rate. All right, here we go again. We made the uh, modifications. So let's hit run, start, go, and go. As you can see, this is going to take a little while, so we'll come back and it's just about done on this first pass. Too fast once again. Well, I've increased the speed of my spindle. We'll see if this will help. Almost. Alright, well, I think I got this thing figured out now. Um, we had too much. Z feed on the thing. So I stepped it down to about an inch and a half per minute. That looks like that's going to do it.
Well, there we have it. We've taken off the outside of the inertia ring. And what I'll do now is to uh, take off the flywheel, weigh it, and see how much you've taken off just by removing this area across here. And we're going to be taking a little bit more off, so I have to modify the program a little bit. So hang on. All right, well, I've just had the flywheel on the scale, and it's down to 18 and a half pounds. So that's a bit of a reduction, and now we're going to go for some more weight. Well, I've written a second program to do this next step. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to take out a big chunk of metal right out of the middle here. We're going to do this on the uh, test phase. So um, I'm go ahead and hit go. It's going to show us how the <clears throat> cutter is going to cut. Again, we're going to be making uh, two steps down to uh, make this all happen. And now we're ready to run the part. All right, we're ready to run. Go. Our start. Go. Spin on. And go one more time. Well, we had to stop and make a tool change. Our tool bit started coming out and uh, actually moved the flywheel off center, which we recentered it, and now we're going to use a, another tool bit.
Overload it again. And that's it. Well, we need to make a few more tweaks to our program before we're uh, completely satisfied with it. Got one little place here we need to take care of. Have a little bit of a ridge here, which will also take care of that. But anyway, this should be uh, pretty close to finished on the programming side. And we've got a little bit more here to go on the flywheel. Well, we're all finished up here. And... Um, we got a little bit of a step between here and here, which is fine. And I actually programmed a little program to, or added to the program to mill this out around here to remove a little bit more weight. And I just put this on the scale, and now our flywheel has gone from, I believe, 21 pounds down to 14 and a half. So that's a pretty significant uh, savings. And we could actually work on this a little bit more and get a little bit more out, but uh, it just takes time and money. 
Anyway, if you have questions about flywheel lightning, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.